Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to prevent users from putting spaces before or after text that they enter into a cell in Excel. We're going to do it using data validation. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com and you can pick it up there. Alright so let's go ahead and get started. First let me pull up the shortcuts we're going to be using and that is the data validation shortcut Alt D L. And this shortcut is going to work with all previous versions of Excel. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this and then I'm going to tell you why you may want to do this. So the first thing is we're going to need a formula. I'm going to write the formula out here with um, out here in one of these cells instead of in the data validation window because mainly it's not the data validation window is not going to tell you if you spelled something wrong or you've entered something incorrectly. So I kind of like to do it here. Now the formula is quite simply equals select the cell where you want to perform the data validation where you don't want the spaces before or after text then equals one more equal sign trim open parentheses then select the cell where you want the data validation to be performed one more time then close parentheses now when we hit enter you can see that it evaluates to true if we type something in here and put a space afterwards it would evaluate to false now I already have data validation on that's why this error message popped up but you could see that this evaluated to false when we did that now that's important because you have to have it evaluate to true or false in order for the data validation to work correctly and that's why this formula looks kind of funky like that with two equal signs. But now that we've got the formula, we know it works, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of here with control X. and Let's go ahead and add it to this cell for data validation. First though, I'm going to quickly remove the data validation and show you how to do it from scratch. All right, so make sure you select the cell where you want the data validation to be, and then either use Alt D L, or if you're in Excel 07, go to the Data tab. From there, Data Tools, and select Data Validation. You're going to see this box pop up, and from there, in the Allow box, what you want to do is to click the drop-down arrow and go all the way to the bottom and select Custom that's going to allow us to enter a formula. Remember, it has to evaluate to true or false. Since we already did the formula, we know it works because we tested it, simply paste that in here. So once again, equals the cell you want to perform data validation, then equals trim and the cell you want to perform data validation. So for us, it's equal A2, equal trim A2. Click OK. Now let's test it out. Let's enter some random text. OK, no problem. Now let me try to enter some random text with a space after it. Okay, there we go. We got an error. The value you entered is not valid. Let's try it with a space in front. Nope, not working. Great. So now we got it and it works perfectly. Um, now you cannot have a space before or after anything that you enter. I'm going to paste the formula here again and format it as text. So there it is. Now the reason you may want to do this is so that you don't have to use functions such as the trim later on. So say that you have some VLOOKUP or some INDEX and some MATCH lookup functions attached to this cell. So they're going to use the ID number or the associate's name, first name, last name, whatever, to search a database. Well, you aren't going to get the correct result if you have a space before or after the values entered. Now you could check for that in the lookup index or match functions, but it's much easier to fix the problem before it ever happens or to make sure that it can never happen. So this is going to make it so that there can never be a space before or afterwards. And that's why you may want to use this and that's why it can be very helpful. So if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. Otherwise, that's it for this tutorial.